Joined by Shelby on assistant manager, Joey Malone. Joey, it's been a great couple of days, hasn't it for you? Oh, it's been fantastic. Yeah, it's, uh, I, don't, it's, I don't think you could write the script really the way it, it, it all panned out. Um, but obviously, obviously we, we knew we were a good enough side to win our game on, on Saturday and then just had to hope that things had happened in our favour out in Piedmont and, and, and it did, which was great. For you as coaches, I know, I suppose to know on Saturday, now it was high of emotion, but having a couple of days to look back on it, I'd say it was a strange, strange affair, especially because you know Galway have gone 2-0 down early on against Piedmont in that game. And you're trying as much as you can to not let the players know what's going on because you've been your own job to do. Must have yeah. been a strange kind of affair. Well, it, 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 even as, as hard as it was to try, just keep it to ourselves. And I mean, the crowd actually were getting involved. So I think that the players knew every time there was a big cheer that something was happening. And uh, I think they kind of felt, heard early on that it was tuning it down. And, but they still, to be fair to them, they'd concentrate because we just kept saying to them, we, we have a job to do, let's win our game. And, and see what see what happens with the other game. But the least we wanted to do was at least finish runners up and uh, and keep ourselves in, in, in the frame. Uh, and then all of a sudden it's like two all and, and, and the players knew and, and then the big cheer came three two and then another big cheer four two. So it, it was it was unreal really, but it was, it was fantastic. When can you actually start thinking, okay, this could happen? Okay, P made a three two down at that stage. But you know, you probably even at that stage you can't think this is actually going to happen. You know, it, it must have been. Was it hard to say keep the concentration because yeah, well, you know, do you know what? Like I, funny and, and Noel will tell you this. I've, I've been saying all week that we we we'll win the game and, and God we will win. I spoke to Stephen Lally during the week. Uh, Stephen was one of my players in the '91 Cup final and um, he, he said he had a good squad. I mean we were kind of a little bit worried that the under 19s final was the next day and some of the better under 19s might be involved. But he said no, he had a really strong team and the better under 19s would be playing and the, the ones that were playing the last few weeks wouldn't be playing because he had a few players back. So. I always felt that we had we had a chance, and I kept saying to Noel, like even two or three weeks before the, the, the last game, I'm saying that no, we will win, we will win on the day, and, and Galway will beat Piedmont, and um, it, it was just a fantastic the way it turned out. But I think the, the players deserve some credit because it's it's hard to go out playing in a game like that, and all in the back of your mind you're wondering what's happening in the other game. But we we were fantastic in the first 25, 30 minutes of the game, and, and really played well, and and, uh, and deserved to be two and up at half time. In terms of though, late on, late on, you know, you heard Piedmont score at that stage, probably four, five, two down. But then Wexford score a second goal, and you're thinking, oh, this isn't well, going to happen. I mean, that was the thing. The game for me, we should have been well, well ahead at that stage. We should have been three, four, five, even because a couple of chances that we had. And then you, you're always a little bit in fear when you're, when you're, when you're, especially when it's two 0 to get a goal. Then, but then we got that lovely third goal, and we thought, oh, that's great. And then you get a goal, and, and we're thinking, oh. So let's let's not let get let's not let another goal in because it's it's going to be squeaky bum time then at that stage. But, and then they got they got the second goal and that last couple of minutes where we should have been cruising a little bit was was hard and was it's it's kind of the nerves kind of get at you as well. But but all that all added to that to that final whistle because the emotion when the final whistle went, knowing what was had to happen over in, in Piedmont and all of a sudden coming from really not having a chance to you now being league champions was just unreal. But like, I'd say for you guys, especially as, as a management group, first year in, you know, and then you, you sort of, when you win the title, you're like, it's just, you know, it, it's sort of the thing, it is the things that, things that dreams, especially considering, like, Shell the last couple of years, they've had heartbreak, they've had results where they've gone out the last day of the season, lost the P mount, or they've lost the league by a point or two, and, yeah, you yeah. know, and to, to see that flipped around, like, you, you look at people like Pearl Slattery, you know, Rachel Graham, Icons of show, fantastic players. You know? yeah. But then again, you look at the kids, the Abby Larkins, the Taylor, Amazing. Taylor White, Mia Dodds, all yeah. these young kids, Jessica Zoo, they're all doing it for the first time as well. And it's sort of it's amazing for them to be to be involved in that company of players that you've just said, Pearl Slattery, Rachel Ryan, and uh, they, like for them for them to be coming into with that team. And, and, and myself and all knew at the start of the season that was our challenge was to bridge that gap between P Mount and see could we actually win the title. And uh, we, we were saying, well, if it, doesn't, if it doesn't happen this year, we certainly will be putting everything into making sure it happens the following year. And, and we, we came in thinking that we look, we put a right squad together, we kept them coaching the way we, you know, the way we feel the game should be played and that type of stuff, that we could do well. And, and we managed to get a really decent squad of players together. Um, unfortunately, the game out in Piedmont was one of those mad games, and uh, they ended up like, sticking four or five players, and it was a crazy game, because I think early in that game, we should be two of ourselves. But things like that happen in football, and 
you, you get rewards because the, the, the girls have worked hard all season, three nights a week, and, and the game on Saturday you, for, for an amateur team, it's, it's, a, it's, it's great credit to them, great commitment from them as well. So I think, I think Pearl, I heard Pearl saying something, you, you know, you get what you deserve. Sometimes sometimes you have to work really hard for it as well. People will say, oh, you deserve to win because you're the best team and all that, you're a good football team, but you have to earn that. And I think, I think the girls have done that. Well, like, you look at, you know, you walk out of Pina 5 0 after losing 5 0, the heads are well and truly down. But the difference between you and Pina after that is that you went on a run. Yes, not every game was convincing victory, but yeah. you got over the line every every game. You got three points every game. Cup, cup games, you, you got through them 1 0, you know. Yeah. That's the difference between between the top sides, between the top sides and the sides who maybe don't win league titles, is that you didn't, you didn't drop another point or. Any defeat since after that game? No, and it was an amazing run as well. And, and we kept saying to the girls, we, we need to keep it at least at four points because we knew going into the last couple of games of the season, obviously we had a couple of tough ones ourselves, but we knew Piemont would have to play DLR, who, who, who we had tough battles with and Galway in the last two games. And we knew that maybe something could happen there once we kept ourselves in the frame. So it meant going into the last game after DLR drawn with them last, that, the week before last. That it kind of meant that the last day we were still involved, we still had a chance, and it was it was great coming coming out of that game. And, and as I say, after that payment game and going on that fantastic run, we just kept ourselves in the frame all the time. We went too far away, and and, and in the end, we got what we deserved, which was fantastic. In league title. It must have been a nice moment, moment just to actually get to celebrate it as well, you know, because. Yes, you get your attention and then turn to the cup, but you had then a couple of days where you could celebrate, you could cherish the moment. Yeah, no, it, it was like the celebration was, was mad on Saturday night. It was fantastic. It was a lot of emotion and people crying and all that type of stuff. And, and then obviously the girls had a great night in Talca Park and, and, and that kind of stuff. But it's the one thing about it is that man, I done it myself as I won a double with Dundalk. And you win the league the week before you play in the cup final, and it's great to have that tucked away. And it takes a little bit of pressure off the cup final. I mean, there's always pressure in every match, but it takes a little bit of pressure off knowing that you have one tucked away. And now I think the, I think the girls have got an unbelievable chance of, of uh, putting a double in their career. Oh, and even all these young girls that are only coming into the game now are starting off their career with a double, possibly a double. They certainly have a league title behind them, but now possibly a double, and it's a, it's a great achievement for them all. What should have been known as being a team who? Dominate this couple in the last couple of years. Barrett and Pima winning the last two. We actually have won several, won several in a row themselves. So like they're a team who know how to win, the, win this cup, and it's been a while since Shelburne have been in the final as well. Yeah, I think I think when you look at it, I mean, cup finals are a big occasion. There's a great buzz about and all that. But the way we've we've challenged the players each week, it's each game at a time. So it's this is another game that we can win, and, and we we put the same. Uh, same effort into all our league games that we've had on that magic run that we've been on, an unbeaten run. If we just bring that into the cup final and play it as if it's a game that we're looking for three points, but no, it's a game where you're going to get at the end of it. Hopefully, if you have a win, you're going to have the cup as well to join the league title. Tallis Stadium, so it's on Saturday, Tallis Stadium Sunday, plus it's live on television as well. I think, and I said to suggest as well, it probably helps the fact that you've had a couple of games on television as well, you've had that in Telford Park where the cameras have been there, you've been able to sort of get it, get used to the feel of the being in and around training sessions at times, doing bits of production stuff, so you've, you've had that little bit of this is what's going to happen, whereas now you go into Sunday, you don't have to worry about the media days out of the way after, after, after today, so it's, it's just concentrating on football. Yeah, no, it's it looked, Tallis Stadium, fantastic stadium, and it's, it's great to be playing a good final, and I know Probably some some of the girls would probably would have liked to play in the AB, but, but I mean it makes sense for the girls to have their own day and the men to have their own day and, and uh, like coming coming here for a cup final is, is, is fantastic and as you said like there's a, there's a lot of things that happen in the early days of the week like the media day today and we've got training tonight and we we we'll be totally full after today and we'll be totally focused on getting us getting our team ready doing our training session tonight with another session on Wednesday and then with another session either Friday or Saturday before they get the game and and we'll be ready we'll be ready and. Uh, I, I totally believe that we're going to win the cup this week as well. Brilliant, Charlie. Thanks for joining me. I look forward to catching you again soon. Cheers, no matter.